Hello there, Spoon on 3 here and today I'm going to make a video uh, teaching everybody exactly how to install the latest version of Templar Graphics' Aliens Cloning Wolverines Overhaul mod. It's the latest version, test version of the V6 of the mod. Now, it's not completely finished, there are still a few bugs that are being working on but it will be finished when it can in due course. But if you want to play it and you want to try it, then the first thing you need to do is come all the way over to Steam and go into Templar's ACM thread. Um, you should be able to see the hyperlink at the top of the screen there. Now I'll show you exactly how to get it. I will put that in the description. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down, ignore these two here, and you'll notice that Templar's put some hyperlinks in here. What you want to do is you want to download the base mod so you click on this one here that will open up this page don't worry it's a trusted site it's absolutely fine just click to go to the external site there we go and you'll see here on Google Drive that you'll have this file ACMO v6 final build zip that's everything you need to install the latest test version of Aliens Clone Marines overhaul mod so all you do is you go up to the right hand side of the screen here and you just click on download and it will start to download. Now I've already done that. So you click it there and it will say Google can't, uh, Drive can't scan this file for viruses. Don't worry about that. There's no viruses in it. It's trusted. So just click download anyway. I'm doing this live as I do it. So if I'm going to do it and it's not going to hurt my PC, it's not going to hurt yours. And here you'll see it's downloading the ACMO v6 final build zip. So the next thing you want to do before you even think about installing the mod it's coming off and going to your Steam library where you should already have Aliens Colonial Marines the vanilla game installed let me just close this go to where you're installed right click on it go to properties go to local files now I'm going to do it a different way this time but usually I just click on verify integrity of game files and then it would just scan it all, realise that I've got modded stuff in it and wipe it out and put it back to vanilla. But we're going to do it the way that you should do it is by uninstalling the vanilla install of the game, which I'm going to do live now. And luckily for me, I've already backed up my files, so I know it's fine. I don't know how long it's going to take to uninstall it. Oh, it seems to take mere seconds to uninstall it. OK, now I'm going to click install reinstall the vanilla game now apparently it's going to take about three hours so what we'll do is we'll let it reinstall and we'll come back later not a problem okay welcome back aliens cloning marines is now completely reinstalled to vanilla so that what i'm going to do is run the game a moment and you'll see as we're preparing to launch that the game is back to vanilla with no mod set end whatsoever which is not so great, but it's got to be done. Come on. What you waiting for? Alright, here we go. Just normal Aliens Colonial Marine splash screen. There we go. Hopefully, Sega. you see it without me changing my source. There we are. Skip that. Skip, skip, skip. And there we are. Vanilla Aliens Colonial Marines. Nothing changed on it. Just as it used to be. And all its good but bad glory. And as you can see, I've reinstalled the game and I'm still level 60. I haven't lost anything. Um, I can still click on and resume campaign if I want, which I'm not going to for now. I'm going to back out now and install the overhaul mod so listen carefully otherwise it may go wrong right I've got me newt so my brain doesn't go empty when I'm making the video because that's what my condition does righty 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 so that's installed to the C drive and we've downloaded our files okay so here's the files that we downloaded I'm just going to chuck it in a new folder too but you can name the folder whatever you like, but that's what I'm going to do for now. Right, so we go on the RAR file, and I'm going to use 7-zip to extract the files, because I find that WinRAR causes problems, so 
in my opinion, use 7-zip. If you want to use WinRAR, use WinRAR, but it's at your own risk. So I'm going to go on 7-zip, and I'm just going to extract here to extract all of the files. There it goes. Okay, so here's the new files. Now, just before I do this, I, I need to add that the reason that we reinstalled the whole of Aliens Colonial Marines to its vanilla settings first is because you can't install say v5 version 5 of the mod and then just install version 6 files over version 5 or any other version because it will cause untold problems and it will just mess the game completely up so you must always always reinstall any cloning marines to its vanilla settings and then install the mod onto that so that's why i did that and that's what we're going to do now so we need to go to a location on my computer i will put all the uh, well, you should see it come up on the screen. I'll, I'll make sure it comes up on the screen. So we're going to be going to this directory here. C program files 86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Alien Clone and Marine. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go to C. Program files 86. Down to Steam. Down to Steam Apps, Common, Aliens, Colonial Marines, and that's it. We're right where we need to be. So what you need to do is drag and drop the new files into this area, which is the binaries, the engine, and the pecan game, and the batch file. So just drag them all in there. That's what I'm going to do. Don't really need to drag the, the readme in there. And make sure you don't drag the raw file in there really, you don't need to do that. You just drag these files, drop them in there, replace the files in the destination. Hmm. And there we are. And I'm also going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to move this batch file over there because that's important as well. So, there we are. The files that we downloaded, you see they're gone now because I've put them into the Aliens Clone Marines folder when you sit on your C drive. That's done. So we're going to close this file down. We're going to leave this window open. And we're going to open a new window. So we're going to go to this one. We're going to go to this one and we're going to delete the Pecan Game Engine file because that's important. If you forget to do this it won't work either. So we're going to go into your directory which is this PC on Windows 10. Just go into your My Documents or Documents. Go down to My Games, Aliens, Clone and Marines and we need to delete this, the Pecan Game file. Ignore the rest of this, this is for something else. So I'm going to delete the Pecan Game file like this. So that is gone. I'll leave the window open because you'll see when we start the game it's going to generate a brand new one. And all that's left to do is to go back to the other window you left open and run the batch file. Just double click it, press any key to continue and that's done. And it disappears because it's, it's run the batch file. And now all you have to do is go back into Steam where your aliens is, click play and Provided you followed all the steps, the game will load. And there we go, Templar Graphics 6 Aliens Colonial Marines Overhaul Mod. Simple as that. Really easy to install. Now, it's not always going to have to be installed this way. So hopefully when it's completely finished, um, someone might be able to make an auto-installer. Unfortunately, the person that used to make the auto-installers um, doesn't do them for Templar anymore. Um, but if it, it, if it doesn't happen and it can't have an auto-installer, I'll just make another video and tell you exactly how to install it, which will be exactly the same as the version now. So, there we go, Aliens Colonial Marines. My settings shouldn't have changed, hopefully. Let me see. Yeah. Let me have a little. I'm just going to whack them back up. Feel you leave it alone. Leave FXAA off because it's terrible. Okay, would you like to, yep, say my settings. Would you like to keep your settings? Yes. Okay, now, an important detail. Never, oh, that's loud in my, in my ear. 
Never try to load a previous save game from a previous version of Aliens Colonial Marines, either the vanilla game or the different mod versions, because it will screw the game up. Always click on campaign and start a brand new mission. Never resume. So I'm going to go on a new, new mission. Start distress. Never play on recruit. Start game. And it, that means it will clear the existing checkpoint progress. Yes. Never try to load an existing save game. Okay, so the game will load. And there's Corporal Dwayne Hicks. I'm going to skip that, and here we are. Ready to kick some ass. Hoorah! That was really quick and easy to install. Of course, I'm not going to get too far into the game because this is just a uh, tutorial telling you how to install it, but the game works. There we are. Beautiful. Okay, let's exit the game because it is installed. Perfect. And there you have it, Aliens Colonial Marines, the latest test build of V6 ready to play. Now, just remember that the latest test build of V6 is not completely finished. There are still bugs. Status interrupted doesn't stasis interrupted doesn't work at the moment. And there are a few other teething problems here and there, like the uh, boilers section not working properly. But these things will be addressed in due course. Unfortunately, we just have to sit back and wait until Templar finishes doing them because unfortunately life has to come first and it may take another year before it's finished or more or less but you can't rush these things but it will get done so there we are thank you for watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one Ta -ta.